Hey, Madelief. Hello. Hoe is het? Yeah, Madelief was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis as a small child after repeated bouts of pneumonia. The genetic disorder, which mostly affects the lungs, normally worsens with age, and many sufferers die prematurely. It is the phlegm that sticks in your lungs that makes you feel short of breath or just generally feel off color. Medlef recently started taking new medication and has experienced a remarkable turnaround. Her doctor chose the medicine based on the results of a new stem cell technique. A sample was taken from her stomach, then grown in the lab into hundreds of tiny living clusters known as organoids. Each of these were then tested with different drugs. If we have a drug or a combination of drug that is uh, that shows that, is, that there is responsiveness in the uh, organoid model, that we are going to treat the patient with that drug or that combination of drug. So we use the organoid responses as a sort of predictor for drug therapy in the patient. More than 1,500 cystic fibrosis patients have been treated in this way. The technique's also being used to treat cancer, where each drug has a different effect from one person to the next. And because it's so easy to grow and preserve the organoids, the team have created a resource for future research. This is the world's largest collection of organoids, tens of thousands of stem cells from human organs, including livers, lungs and stomachs. They're being kept here in this biobank as a resource for scientists and drug companies around the world who are looking for new treatments for dozens of diseases. It's a library of, of, of tissues um, from all sorts of people, diseases, genetic backgrounds, etc. So if an academic or an industry wants to solve a particular issue, they can come to us, look in the catalogue and find cystic fibrosis, colon cancer, a specific genetic background and take that organoid out and start developing drugs or start answering questions. Researchers are now trying to create more complex organoids to represent functioning parts of the human body, even something as complex as the human liver. They say the technique will become more useful and accurate. For Mad Leaf and a few thousand others in the Netherlands, the possibility of personalised treatment has changed their lives. A promising start for a technology which its developers say could revolutionise modern medicine. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Utrecht in the Netherlands.